Yo, so I know it looks like I'm an exclusive uh, news channel at the moment, but I, I promise you I'm not. It's just the only thing that's happening at the moment are leaks, and they're just everywhere, and they seem to be happening every single day at this point the past few days. So uh, basically, we ended up getting more information, and I want to apologize for not uploading yesterday. I was in the middle of recording, and then I hit save, and then the file just, like, literally disappeared. I didn't feel like doing it again, so I said, fuck it. And we just chilled out the rest of the day. I don't give a shit. Did I do anything for the fourth? Fuck no. Got some Warzone 2 and DMZ codes and stuff like that. This is again coming from Reality UK. And by the way, there were some motherfuckers that were commenting and stuff and they were like, well, if the pictures and videos aren't in here and if none of the codes or pictures are in here, then this is just clickbait. Like, yeah, other than the literal explanation of what I said and also telling you where you could fucking see it. But you know, let's just type a comment up regardless. These aren't just rumors. They're literally rumors that have been like corroborated and also they literally have existing physically and or digital code and files and images and things like that that would have no other reason to exist other than what we are talking about. If it were just a rumor, it would just be made up. None of it would even be here. There are multiple people that have leaked this shit and it's literally just in game files. You can find it yourself. Come in, Peter. This guy's sitting inside of this building and I just don't know where the fuck he is. He's just sitting there hiding for his fucking miserable little rat life. I don't want to push around him. I mean, I'd rather just talk about the info, man. Just sitting around waiting for me to run into his engagement. Typical of the modern warfare design. I have no choice. I can't take that fight. I have to fight his fight and I'm just not taking it. I'm not doing that. There's some code and shit that has like uh, things talking about key cards and other shit like that for the DMZ mode. Also, it was rumored for a long time that the DMZ mode was actually going to be free to play, but it turns out that that might not actually be the case. And there might actually be even another mode because they did say themselves that there was going to be some sort of free to play mode in 2023. So what is it? Could it be like a zombie standalone thing? Obviously, I'm not trying to start no rumor or some shit like that, but we were pretty sure that that was DMZ then. But the fact that it's not and it's been clarified that DMZ is separate then what is it? Seems like it's going to be a lot like the Tarkov mode where basically you just end up uh, being able to fall into a place. I, I literally like I know that was really fucking stupid where I can just land right in front of him but the There's also some Warzone 2 files and stuff in there that say things uh, like all the point of interest names and stuff on there, which also we had like a leak earlier where they were talking about like the design of the Warzone 2 map and shit like that. So there are people that are taking these images that they think are on the Warzone map and are confirmed ground war maps and they're trying to piece them all over these like drawn uh, paint point of interest that say things like uh, oil field, war torn, observatory, marshland, old fort or old town. It's weird. The line says old town, but then says old fort modern city which is probably dog shit downtown version or something hopefully they learned something from that because nobody liked being in downtown Free. what the fuck were you thinking what kind of malice I so we got point of interest names we got uh, maps to try to show where they're at and shit i mean like we really have like this entire game
Good shots by him. I don't know what I was thinking, trying to take that shot there, thinking that sniper rifles had any chance against fully auto weapons in this game at this point. Like, I shouldn't expect anyone else to snipe back either, because clearly they wouldn't be able to hit any shots anyway. So Ralph ended up uh, saying that Modern Warfare 2 beta is actually going to be what we thought was actually going to be in August. It's actually in September, and honestly, that really doesn't bode well. Like, it really genuinely doesn't. Okay, where did I die at? Like, somewhere around here, I think. This area or so, right? So the guy would come down. He was around this area. And he would come down, and he'd be right either in this building or this building. And since there's a buy thing right over at this building, I can assume that it's him that bought. Gas is coming in also, so I should be able to see people move out of these uh, structures. I'm gonna land on him. I want my revenge. <laughs> okay, there he is. was him too oh my god this six pack sitting right next to him man. having the time of his fucking life now i've talked about this shit before i've been pretty high on modern warfare 2 like i've been pretty excited about everything that we've been hearing about it even though you guys already know my relationship with modern warfare 2019 it is incredibly toxic it's a love-hate relationship of mostly hate but at this point it's a part of the history it is what it is. I pulled the shoot at that wrong point. I, I hesitated because I thought he would look up really quickly, like he would get the notification or whatever. If I had landed right at the moment that he decided that he was going to try to go up the zip, I would have been able to kill him immediately. He wouldn't have been able to do anything, but I mistimed it. And hey, at least he didn't kill me, but still. So again, with the game coming out at the end of October, right? And assume that the beta, I think that they said is like mid-September. Uh, They're all four-day weekends though, where it's like, uh, you know, at first I think PlayStation gets it and all that shit. Oh, good. Wait, how does he get hit markers? I'm sorry, what sniper did he hit? Can we fix the snipers, man? They're all highly underpicked and everything. Like, what are we talking about? That's what should have happened to him when I took my shot at him. This guy's got nine kills and he hit him with a three line. Yeah, I was surprised that it didn't do more damage when he hit marked him with no shield at all. What? I mean, it's, you know, spectating or whatever, but... What? So again, this happened with Modern Warfare 2019, I think, where it felt like uh, the beta is so close to the release of the game, it's not just a bummer that we have to wait that long to even be able to play the game in beta form. Obviously, other people have actually played the game already in their earlier stages or whatever, but the beta itself, those are usually things that are meant to be for feedback from the community. The thing is, they are not going to be able to actually implement any big, meaningful change within a month. And I mean big, meaningful change in the sense of like, like actual design issues that they baked into the game that is an actual issue. I'm not talking about a weapon just being overpowered or there's like holes in walls and glitches into ground and shit like that. We're not talking about that. A beta is for incredibly game-breaking and very obvious design flaw feedback. It's just bad signs. I mean, maybe they're just really confident in it. It could show that they're confident in it. And we do know that they are ahead and they do have like that whole two year cycle deal. The issue is that we don't wanna be like Battlefield. No offense to Battlefield, cause me personally, I don't think 2042 is that terrible, but I'm not gonna go and say it's good. I'm not putting any excuses out there before anyone tries to take my head off. Definitely missing a lot of things that if I were a Battlefield YouTuber or content creator or some shit, I would have been memeing like a motherfucker. But as a COD YouTuber, I, I know my place. So DMZ in code exists. That's not just a rumor. DMZ code literally exists and the uh, Warzone 2 shit leak. First, we did think that we got the real date from uh, this Amazon listing that said it was like in August or something. That's apparently not the case anymore. And uh, I don't know. The thing is, at least we know when we go and play the game at that point, we'll be pretty close to actual release. At this point, once it gets this close to a release, it's absolutely like a marketing ploy over anything. And me personally, even with Modern Warfare 2019, I hated playing through the, uh, the gunfight alpha and shit like that. And uh, what is it, Champion Hill? I hated all of those aspects of me like, why am I testing the game mechanically and then giving feedback on a mode that I am never going to touch? Who is playing Champion Hill right now? Who is playing Gunfight? Nobody wants to play this shit, so don't make me test it with valuable time that should be on the modes that we're actually going to play. Don't do that. I understand that you might be trying to introduce a new mode, but don't do not do that. At least don't advertise it as a beta then, as if you're trying to say that uh, this is the uncompleted portion of the game. No, you're giving us an incomplete part of the game that we will never touch and you will never finish anyway. It's like this shit where like parents sit down and force kids to eat shit that they just don't want to eat. And trust me, I get it. You should eat your vegetables. I get what parents are trying to do. But if they're not going to eat it, they just ain't going to eat. And you're going to learn not to cook this shit again. Because you're going to run into the same problem every single time. We don't care. So when this beta drops, give us a multiplayer beta. 
please. Couple maps, typical TDM, domination, and we'll just play for a limited time. Four days or like eight days total or some shit like that. A week, basically. And then we can give our feedback there, which will do virtually nothing uh, unless it's something incredibly obviously wrong. I encourage everybody to go and watch my Modern Warfare uh, 2019 beta videos. You should have seen the state that the game launched in. Cheater. Who's the cheater? Everyone. Uh, I was running that riot shield, but I was in a bad position. Bro. <laughs> what would we have done about his riot shield? What a menace. Yeah, but that's pretty much the rundown on it. I mean, I've been running the ZRG again, but the ZRG just feels kind of funky. I I've been thinking about just running around with the car 98 anyway, even with the damage nerf, but and even with the buffs to the three line, sniper rifles are still not even within the top 10 of most used weapons. Three line is going up because they have been buffing it. But again, all the sniper rifles that got hit with that one shot headshot nerf, like over the range or whatever, are all virtually non-existent. Likely because they stop using it once they die a few times with it and yeah. This is the case with all of the sniper rifles, but people are still trying to be bold with the car 98. It's doable. Absolutely. If you're good enough, you hit heads within that range. It's usable. You know, you can do like a medium speed build or some shit like that instead of the ultra long range. It's competitive if you're good at it, like really good at it. But when you can just sit there and hold down with the NZ, Coopers, UGMs, you know the deal. You run into the shit every day. Uh, it, they just lose. Snipers just lose so bad. I really wish they would have done that sniper nerf in some other way other than removing literal snipers' identities. Identity is the one-shot headshot. If you remove it, it's over. They have lost everything that has made them special. What else is special about a sniper rifle? The fact that it can zoom in a bit further than other weapons? When people are all running around with three to six X's and a car 98 has like what, a six and a half? And other sniper rifles can go higher and they're on average of like eight X? What the fuck is the difference when I'm sitting here flinching just by getting peppered by incredibly accurate compressed bullets? I'm not saying nerf this shit. I'm saying help the long range things in the game. <laughs> Give them some help. So the majority of the DMZ files are like uh, mission code lines and stuff like that. Like uh, infiltrate this place, get this amount of kills, uh, plant a bomb here, defuse a bomb here, escort a hostage out, uh, escort like a payload kind of thing, like, uh, obtain like an embassy key card or something. And then there's like an embassy office key card. That I assume is a key card that you can find within that map to go and open that thing in a different map or, or some shit like that. I don't play that much Tarkov. I've watched a good amount of it i think i have a good idea of how it works and stuff like that certain key cards are more valuable than other key cards because those certain key cards give access to higher value areas i really hope that the marketplace actually is good on this shit otherwise it's just it's not even gonna matter items don't have any weight to them and the longevity of the game of uh actually gaining items and things like that just really won't be as satisfying but also it could be kind of brutal and they do try to make it friendly for like the average players so i don't i don't really know if they're gonna try to they do a very good job at it they did it with Warzone, for example, they took the BR genre and put COD into it with the contracts and the pace and all that other shit. The movement. This time around for the Tarkov shit, like, for, are they going to be running into people that got Warzone mechanics that are just popping the fuck off? Is it going to be like this really slow, real hardcore mode? Or is it going to just be this mode that just seems kind of like that has this weird identity issue? I, I, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think.